Hi, welcome for our online trainings and placements. Today, we got uh, a specific uh, doubt from one of our students. And uh, the doubt is related for uh, Oracle Fusion Financials. And uh, he has created an invoice, this. And before they create an invoice, it was asking some uh, error messages like this. Some accounting date is not an open period. And also, you cannot enter the invoice lines because the invoice header is incomplete. Enter the required information in the invoice header before entering the lines. So that's the doubt actually uh, raised, of course, when we are working generally in the projects. Uh, we don't find uh, this issue because uh, uh, this is a very basic setup. Uh, generally, when we are doing it in account payables, uh, invoice options, uh, common options for payables and procurement, where you, if you specify the liability account, and also if you open the accounting periods, then uh, automatically it will take the accounting date. Okay. So, but uh, I just wanted to know, for example, you are working in a project and they given this screenshot and they have asked you, can you find out who has created this invoice? Invoice number is A1. And this is the screenshot they provided. You got business unit, you got supplier details, invoice number and amount other details. Other than that, no other information. So what we have to do is now we have to find out. Let's think how we can find out. I'll give you one minute time. Just think about it. And I'll tell you the solution after one minute. Yes, uh, I'm back here. Generally, we can't find that uh, from the front end. Front end, uh, of course, we can find uh, for which business unit uh, this, the, this invoice is related. We can search and uh, we cannot find uh, which user has uh, created this information. So what we have to do is uh, we have to go to backend. Let's go to navigator. Tools menu, reports and analytics. So I'm just showing you what are the different ways uh, we can find so that we'll get uh, more command on the subject and uh, so that we can speak confidently in the interview point of view, as well as when we are working in the projects. And of course, even though we are a functional consultant, uh, still we should have an idea about basic SQL to query the data from database and write the where clause for filtering the information and search for the data. And of course, uh, even if we are not clear all the tables, but the main documents, when I say main documents like journals, invoices, payments, suppliers table, purchase order tables, when we talk about customers, 
customer tables, customer invoices. This information, these tables uh, uh, is required so that we can query, which is very important in the data migration, as well as uh, when we are working in the supporting projects. When you do not have the access to the front end, then you can query the data from backend tables. Now I'm writing AP invoices all is the table name, which is having all the invoices information, where invoice number equal to A1. Now let's press OK. It's showing uh, invoices, yes, is missing. Invoices, yes, is missing. And uh, I can see that information here. When we get the result here, I can find the invoice number, invoice amount, and there are who columns. We call it as, there will be a four columns, who columns. What are those four? Here I can find. Two columns I can see here. One is uh, created by, another one is creation date. Which user has created this record? At what time the record has created? And two more columns we have. Total four uh, who columns we can find. What are the two other recently who has updated this record? At what time? Last updated by last login. Sorry, last updated by last update date. This four columns in every table we will find. We call it as a who columns. These columns are used to maintain the record history because we are going to log into the applications from the front end and then we try to enter the data from the front end by opening the pages and all. But once we enter the data and save, that information will be saved into the database tables in the back end. Multiple users are logging and try to create the records Obviously, that information will be saved in the database tables. Then we need to identify who has created that record, right? Of course, we can restrict from the front end by providing the data access. But BU level, we can restrict. When user login, user can access the corresponding business units data from the database. And if at all we want to go for access the self-information, we need to provide the privileges. And if at all, we are writing queries in case of any reports or any data conversion area or programming part, then we will be using this two columns to filter the data based on the date or based on the user. Okay. This is applicable for any document, not only for the account payables module invoices. If we take uh, payments table or journals, or customers, suppliers table. Every table almost will have these two columns. So if they ask you, how will you find who has created a particular record in Fusion applications, we can easily get it like this from the backend database tables by going through the who columns. That's the option we can explore. Okay, thank you. I request everyone, please subscribe for our YouTube channel to get the latest updates about Oracle Cloud, as well as the jobs related, which are current openings. And also you'll be able to get the updates from Oracle, Oracle applications, as well as Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. Thank you.